Good morning. I don't know if you can hear, but it's raining in LA. I thought it would be fun to do like a cozy favorites video. I mean, how many years did we do those videos? Not like the sit down kind of stuffy, perfect background, just hanging out on a rainy day, going through things that I love. We're gonna start with my skincare routine because I have been very into what I've been doing and I'm really happy with it. Depending on what time that I wake up, I will either just splash my face with water or I will actually wash it. But this, oh, can you see it? Hi, hi, yeah. The CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. I love it, big fan. When it gets cold though, it does take forever for the water to heat up. <laughs> You know, my skin's feeling good, so I'm not going to actually wash it. I'm just gonna do water. And my new washcloth from Ikea. If you've been following the vlogs of us redoing this bathroom, you know that these are the towels that we got and they finally had the washcloths in stock. I love them. Like, look how nice this, this texture is. Like a waffle weave. Actually, that's too dry. So I still want my face pretty damp for this. So it locks in all the moisture, especially because now it's getting cold. Where is it? I did pick a little yesterday, but other than that, I feel like my skin's doing pretty good. I don't want to treat anything, so I'm just gonna hydrate. I have been obsessed with this. This is the CauseRx Advanced Snail 96. What about Snail 95? Snail 97, that was a stupid joke. Snail Mucin Powder Essence. Snails. I do like two pumps of this, maybe three. And while my skin is still damp, I press it in. It's really like slippy. Don't think too hard about the snail part because it will freak out. Then up the neck. It's just really hydrating, especially on days where I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I don't like to do too much skincare in the morning because too many products, you have to wait between like the layering and all of that and I just don't have the patience. While my skin is still kind of damp, I go in with moisturizer. This is also from CauseRx. This is not sponsored by CauseRx. I just love their stuff. They don't even send it to me in PR. I just buy it myself. This is their Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Cream. I talked about this when we were in Colorado either last year or the year before. How many years has COVID been? <laughs> Let's not get into that. It's super hydrating and it kind of does leave your skin, I don't know, it doesn't like fully, fully, fully soak into your skin, but I like that just because my skin is so dry and dehydrated, prone to dehydration. Then this has been pretty new to me. This is the Kate Somerville Delicate Recovery Cream. This is a really intense, really, really thick moisturizer. Like very, oh, almost whipped you off. Very, very thick. I just take like a little finger amount of that and oh, there's a hair on my hand. And I just press it into the spots that get extra dry. I found that layering this on top of the other moisturizer does make the other ones sink in a little bit quicker. And my skin is so hydrated. I've been using that one at night too. And it's really, really nice. I still also use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, but because my skin has been reactive lately, so something that's extra hydrating has been really nice. And then I wait like 10 minutes at least before I put my sunscreen on. So this can all soak into my skin. And this sunscreen has changed my life. It's gonna be a dramatic out of 10 minutes for me, but it's gonna be like two seconds for you. While I wait for my moisturizer to soak in, I just come back and sit on the bed and start working on the graphics for the podcast. Today's Monday, so Don't Blame Me goes up, but we also just moved our other podcast, But Am I Wrong, to the same feed. So now we have episodes four days a week, which is really cool. So if you haven't listened, join our multiverse of madness. Sure, but I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted. I've also got new podcast art, which I just made. Screenshot that and import it in. Yes, this is how many tabs open I have at one time. I'm obsessed with Canva. I desperately want them to become a sponsor for our podcast, but this is literally where I make all my graphics on. So I do want to redo this one. This has been the same one for a while, but it's pretty cute. Go listen to the podcast. And we're exporting. Moisturizer has had time to sink in. Wow, you didn't see that, but I almost dropped this. Now for sunscreen. I I love this sunscreen. This is the Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Aqua Reach. I'm pretty sure you have to get it online because I don't think it's American. Well, I know it's not American. I'm using the two finger rule for this. Let's do two and a half. No spam risk. I learned that trick from Tiara on Twitter. She teaches me all of the good skincare things. No white cast. It's a chemical sunscreen and sometimes chemical sunscreens can break you out more. This one does not break me out at all and it works really well under 
makeup. That I feel like is the missing thing in so many makeup tutorials. Everyone's like, oh, I prepped my skin ahead of time and this is blah, blah, blah. Like make sure you wear sunscreen, but they never say what sunscreen they're wearing. And 90% of the time, sunscreen doesn't work with makeup. Like it just looks bad. And then people either opt for letting their makeup just like not look as nice, which do that versus not wearing sunscreen at all. And a lot of time these influencers are like doing makeup videos without their blinds open and they're just not leaving the house, even though you should wear it every day anyways. I take the excess and I put it on my hands and also down my neck, but look at that glow. <sighs> Sorry, my nose is starting to run. I'm getting a little zit right there. Oh, I've got an appointment at my LASIK office to see if I would qualify to get a second round because I can't see anything. It's been years though, if that makes you feel any better. No white cast, my skin is really glowy. It doesn't like pill with the rest of my skincare. It works really well because I focus on really like hydrating and hyaluronic acid ingredients, water-based things. And that's what I'll also do with my makeup is a lot of water-based, not oil-based because oil and water do not mix. You know, you should find a sunscreen that you want to put on every single day. And I've also learned that when you wear sunscreen every day, your skin just starts to look better. Not only does it prevent sun damage, but the actual just like glow to your face and your skin every day, it just looks nice. This would have been more of like a, wow, look how nice it looks if I didn't pick my skin last night, but then I wouldn't be me. I wanna do two more quick little skincare shout outs before we move on. This is so good. This is the Hero Cosmetics Force Shield Super Fuel Serum Stick. I apply this last, probably before sunscreen. It's just like this ultra hydrating balm. I do worry about sanitation. So I always clean off the top before I apply it and then I clean it off afterwards. You can see it's kind of just like a giant glue stick. If I had like excessive dryness, any sort of dermatitis flare up, this is great for locking in moisture. I do love the like slugging thing, but I can't put Aquaphor all over my face. I will break out. This, I can't. Locks in that moisture without breaking my skin out. I've talked about this so much. The Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peeling Pads. I love these. I did some content with them like a while ago. This is not with them at all. I just have some and I love them. They're so good and I've, I've been reinvigorated with my love for them because I did use the gentle ones, like the last pack that I used and they worked really well. I really liked them but then I started using like the regular strength ones again and I remembered how good they are. Really helps with like uneven texture and hyperpigmentation in places as well as just like resurfacing your skin. Okay, now that's like actually it. I won't go to makeup. Before I get into the rest of the video, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Ritual. I've been taking Ritual's multivitamin for well over a year and I love it, which is why I was so excited when they announced their newest launch. It's called Symbiotic Plus and it's a three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and post postbiotic. The top selling gut supplements don't even include a postbiotic, which made sense because I was like, what is a postbiotic? Prebiotics support the growth and activity of the beneficial bacteria. That's like the good bacteria in your gut. Probiotics are live wild microorganisms, which is so crazy to think about. I don't know. I didn't pay attention a lot in science class. The prebiotics, they include help with bloating, gas, as well as the mild and occasional diarrhea. I don't know why, but I feel for like some reason I can't say that on YouTube. You can. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. And the postbiotic provides fuel to the cells that make up the lining of your gut and support gut barrier function. This is my bottle. They are each one little capsule. You only have to take one a day. Their delayed release technology in each of these capsules helps it reach your colon versus your stomach. That's where they can thrive. And if you're familiar with Ritual multivitamins, they have that same minty flavor, which I love. You can take them with or without food and you don't have to refrigerate them, which I love because as somebody with object permanence issues, I put something away, I don't know it's there. Just like all of Virtual's products, they are vegan friendly, formulated without GMOs, major allergens, animal products, and artificial colors. I really appreciate how transparent Ritual is, what vitamins are in everything, but also where they're sourcing those nutrients from down to the environmental impact of all of their shipping. They've also got a subscription service so you can get all of your products delivered to your door monthly with free shipping. We're investing in 401ks. We also need to be investing in our gut. For Black Friday and Cyber Monday, Ritual is offering 40% off when you bundle with Symbiotic Plus. Get on the right track this year and let your gut thank you later. This is my office. This is the room that was the least unpacked when it was so, so, so hot and we had the heat wave here. This room, unbearable. It has been 
kind of ignored for the last couple of months and I did some work on it this week so I do need to get this at least somewhat done because someone's going to stay with us and they're just gonna be on an air mattress in here so I need to figure that out before the end of November. <laughs> I just got this hairbrush and I really like it. It's Diane. I don't know but it's one of those softer bristle ones. That's you don't need to see that that's kind of gross but it really helps smooth when you're putting your hair up and doesn't really tug but it gets a good sleek look. And then I got these hair ties that have changed the game. I literally think I discovered these from a TikTok of a mom doing her daughter's hair and they're just so good. They just feel kind of like stretchy fabric. I would like leggings in the material but it doesn't tug at all and they're just really comfy. I really like them. Okay the ponytail could be smoother but we're gonna deal. I haven't found a place to do my makeup sitting down yet. So <laughs> this is definitely not gonna be the place because I'm just sitting on three pillows on the floor. I do wanna have the room organized so I have a place to sit down and do my makeup. With all my heart rate issue stuff right now, standing up for long periods of time, like doing my makeup has just been too miserable. We went to Target this weekend and I picked up the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Hide I don't know. It's supposed to be a dupe for that. I've never tried either. Let's see, just a little bit. Do you need to be closer? Hmm. Hydrating, kind of sticky, but not the stickiest. It does feel like it's sinking in. Oh yeah, it definitely feels a little stickier now. We'll see how makeup goes on top of it. I don't know when I started doing this, but it's changed the game for me. Color correcting. I have really dark under eye corners. Like, yes, my under eyes are pretty dark. I don't ever wanna get filler there. It just freaks me out. <laughs> when I color correct, I use far less concealer. And this one is just from Tarte. I don't know if they even still make this. It's their Wipeout Color Correcting Palette. You really just take a orangey, peachy, or yellowy kind of shade, depending on what color you're under eyes are or whatever you're trying to color correct. I use like a mix of these two shades, but mostly this one. I have really veiny eyelids. Even when I do concealer on my eyelids and set them, a lot of the time those veins, the really purple blue ones, will still just stick out. Stick out. They're not like pop out. <laughs> Stand out. I don't know if you can tell how much that helps. I'm down for like over color correcting and just adjusting it with concealer to make it blend more. But I also do it with zits. I always thought that all zits are red so you always use green to color correct but a lot of the time especially when they start to like scar they're a little bit more purpley or if you've picked too hard and you've pinched too hard and they kind of turn into like a blood blister that's definitely more purple and it's honestly kind of just trial and error where you put down one color that you think is going to color correct it and you're like mm, that's not actually helping let me try the other shade and you just start to learn i also do a little bit around my nose even with just that it helps so much i've been switching up my base a lot so sometimes i will literally just do color correct and concealer and skip a foundation or a tinted moisturizer. On days that I'm doing more of like a heavy skincare routine and not so water based, I will use the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. This is amazing. My shade is in 15 Melrose. I love everything they make, but this is like the best tinted sunscreen I've ever, ever, ever used. I'll do a little bit of like other sunscreen because you do need a good chunk of it. I don't want to use all of, <laughs> all of this to get as much sunscreen as I need for the day, but I'll do this and like mascara and no other makeup. It is just so good glowy and so, so, so nice. On days I want a little bit more coverage, I use the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I love this. I think I've talked about it. It's just really good. It's definitely a little dark for me right now because I have not self-tanned in a very long time. I apply it first just in like the center of my face, but then also down my neck because without a doubt this doesn't match. I like using a brush now to really start working in face products. I don't know. I, I, I think the sponge is really nice for blending and kind of taking off excess. It's so quick with a brush to place and kind of get it to stay where you want it to stay. I don't do like big circular sweeping. I really just tap it in. Now that I start in the center of my face, I've realized like how much less product I need or want. If I was leaving the house, I'd probably be a little bit more precise, but I'm not. Except I wouldn't because I'd be wearing a mask so you wouldn't see it anyway. Is that in the background bothering you? Because that's bothering me. 
Don't look at the rest of that stuff. Like, nice, right? I really like it. I just take the beauty blender and blend the rest. At Target, I also picked up the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I think their regular camo concealer is supposed to be a dupe for Tarte's Shape Tape. And then this one, I know Tarte has a hydrating shape tape. I do always love testing out new concealers. In my last vlog, I kind of teased what I was gonna be for Halloween. If you didn't see the reveal, insert some pictures right here. I was Amy Dune from Gone Girl. I can't believe it took me so many years to do that. Everybody has told me since the movie came out, I've probably gotten no less than a thousand times. I look like her. When the movie came out, I had people messaging me who were like, oh, congratulations, like that's so amazing. And I was like, you watched the whole movie and thought it was me. I think even doing some TikToks that I did using audios from the movie, I realized what angles we look the most alike in, but I just had so much fun with the costume. Mats was Ben Affleck when he's like posing with the poster, which I thought was so funny. And someone DM'd me and was like, I love how every year he's just like a glorified accessory. I honestly had a really good Halloween. I'm not a big Halloween person. I can't do scary movies. I don't like spooky things. I feel like as an adult without children, Halloween is just partying and I don't drink. I don't party anymore. It's just kind of like a wasted holiday for me. But this year we actually have like a neighborhood where there's lots of kids. So we were like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get our first trick-or-treaters this year. Like, no way. We were so, 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 so excited. I knew some kids who lived on our street. I didn't know how many would come. We had like, I would say almost, probably almost 200. My absolute favorite costume was this little girl who couldn't have been more than like, she's probably like three or four. She comes to the door, she's dressed as this green little blob. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love your costume. What are you? And she goes, salad. I like cried. I absolutely died. It was so funny and turns out that that is like my neighbor who I met that night but I didn't know that that was one of her kids. I re-met her again yesterday and I was talking about how the little salad girl brought me enough serotonin for the rest of my life and she was like oh that's that's one of mine like that's my daughter. I lost it. She came over and said hi and I was like salad and she was like hee hee. It was just oh it was so cute. I don't know it was cool yesterday to like talk to our neighbors and kind of get to know them like a little bit more. We had horrific neighbors at our last place. I don't know, it's like cool to feel like you're in a neighborhood with like families and people who care to get to know each other. I put some shave tape on the zit that I have right here. I like to let it sit for kind of like a minute or so. If it's a different concealer, I will let it sit for a little bit longer, but shave tape dries down pretty fast already, so I don't want it to be too much. I've already started like pitching different Halloween costumes to mods that we should do next year. But now that Halloween is over, I am fully moving on to Christmas. I've been on Pinterest pinning different like Christmas styles and like aesthetics of like what we want to do. I want to go shopping in the next week or so to get some decorations. We were so late getting Halloween ones that pretty much everything was sold out and there was already Christmas stuff up. So now I want to make sure we don't do the same mistake with Christmas. And I really want to like extend the fun of the holiday season. We are going to go to Colorado again for Christmas. I want to have like things that we do in LA that make it feel really festive and jolly and just really fun because mental health wise I haven't been doing that great understatement finding things that make me excited and happy that I can look forward to regularly that really break up the day the year it doesn't feel like a never-ending groundhog day I think will be really nice so I've been like saving some things that we can do around here for the holidays. And we think we're going to go to Colorado for a little bit longer than we did last year. Hopefully we'll be able to do some like wintry fun things there too. I've become obsessed with these. These are from Tower 28. They have like a bronzer, blush, highlight. They're just so good. They're really like creamy balms that wear super nicely. This is the Bronzino in Suncoast. Gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. I've really been liking mostly cream products. I have yet to try a product from Tower 28 that isn't fantastic. That was Sun Coast. Then I have Gold Coast, and this is just like a darker one. And sometimes I'll just do this kind of like a contour. It's definitely a very warm bronze shade. They don't make this anymore. This is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I'm sure there's lots of the brands who do this. I just mix like these two shades mostly and do a little bit in the cheekbones. Weirdly enough, this like large ass brush does kind of well, just like going from the brow to the nose for like a little bit of a contour. Okay, you know what, maybe. 
I, I kind of messed that up today, but that's fine. I've talked about how much I love the Rare Beauty blushes. They're great. I want to get some full-size ones. I just have the minis, but recently I have been head over heels for the blush versions of the Tower 28 product I showed you in bronzer. This is Power Hour, Magic Hour, <laughs> Golden Hour like a more of a plummy color, a neutral pink, and a coral. They're so, so pretty. I take the darkest shade, do it right at the high cheekbone temple area with my finger, and then I just take a brush and blend it out. <gasps> We haven't talked about Midnight's. I love the album. I think it's so good and I feel really vindicated. Is that the right word? Validated? That I was right. My prediction that I said in my TikTok was it was going to be Tumblr era. Mirrorball meets New Romantics. I've been doing also a little blush on the forehead to make it a little more seamless as well as hip of the nose. Get that cold look. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I love the whole album. It's so good. I don't know if I can rank my favorite songs or even pick my favorite. My top has been Mastermind. I think it's so good, but You're On Your Own Kid is also fantastic. Snow on the Beach is criminally underrated. Seeing it at the bottom of people's lists, jail. I also love Paris. I think that one deserves far more recognition than it's getting. But again, as a mirror ball and new romantic stan, I know what it's like to be uh, pushed to the bottom of people's lists. Obviously all the songs we have music videos for, everybody loves and I also love. I tend to like root for the underdog. Would've, could've, should've. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're going there. This powder is as good as everybody says it is. This is the Kosa Cloud set. I have the shade Breezy. This is the best powder ever. People weren't lying. It takes down a little bit of shine without being powdery or cakey or taking away the glow. And it's one that you can reapply kind of constantly throughout the day. Doesn't build up. It sinks into your skin. It just makes you look flawless. I can't believe it took me so long to get this because I love it. I've been going back to my naked palette. This is the Ultimate Basics. I think they still make this one. I don't know, remember when this was like the number one? And I kind of just take a lot of the lighter shades and just take those through the crease just to create a little bit of depth. I do like the whole sweeping it up into kind of more of a lifted look and less rounded, which works because I don't really have rounded eyes. I sometimes feel like the sloppier your eye makeup looks when like the rest of your makeup is nice. Like if you've got a little bit of like a smudgy lip and a smudgy eye, all I do, take a little bit underneath the eyes as well. I take the light shades and just do it on my finger under the brow bone. A little angled brush into one of the brown shades and use that kind of as liner, mostly just in the outer corner. You know, my skin looks really good. Taking it like a little bit, like not like a full flick, but just a little bit. I like to keep the rest of like the lid without like liner or darkness there. I just think it looks a little bit better on me. Back into the same shades just for like the like, inner third of my eye. Then into the eyeshadow that I love so much and I am apologizing because it's discontinued. It has been my favorite for I think honestly going on years at this point and this is a plea. Urban Decay, bring this shade back forget what's like, I think maybe the moon dust eyeshadow or, or some, some name like that, but this is in Starlight. It's like this peachy, warm pink color. It's stunning. Thankfully, it's lasted me so long. Just take it on my finger and I apply it to the center and I take it up a little bit because I think when I have my eye open and it like catches the light, it looks really nice. I wear this like every time I wear makeup, every time without fail, people are like, what eyeshadow is that? And Space Cowboy is just not the same. I have it. I have so many of the other shades. They're gorgeous, but Urban Decay, Bring it back. This is cosmic, and sometimes I'll take that in here if I wanna be glittery instead of shimmery for a highlight. I've been skipping setting spray. I saw a TikTok of someone was like, skip it for a while, see how much better your skin looks. I don't know if it does, but it was an excuse for me not to like rebuy it once I ran out, so. Why not? Mats and I are watching New Girl. I used to make fun of him for being obsessed with it. He was doing a rewatch of it a couple years ago. And I think it was like when Nick and Jess got together, I started paying attention. I was like, this is kind of cute. But we started it from the beginning. And I just want to say my sincerest apologies to New Girl fans. The show is perfect. It's so good. I don't know why I waited so long to watch it. I bought new mascara. This is the Falsies throwback. We'll see how this wears. I've been doing the Falsies lash lift recently and I made the switch to brown mascara. It's a game changer, especially if you have lighter hair or like lighter eyes. It doesn't look as stark of a contrast. I think it just looks so much better on me. I have really, 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 really straight lashes that can't hold a curl. For years, I've just been trying different brands, different formulas of mascara, trying to find one that would hold a curl in my lashes. Waterproof mascara. That's literally the solution. That's how you hold a curl in your lashes. It's, it's literally that simple. 
Like sure, some I like the results better than others, but it's no longer about holding a curl. That is just what you need to do if you have straight lashes that can't stay curled. Yeah, this one's better. Okay, well, now we know. I will clean up my lid, but how nice is that? I would love if Tower 28 and Rare Beauty came out with their mascaras in a waterproof formula in brown. Yeah, I like this mascara a lot more. You saw my eyelashes before? How crazy is that? For my lower lashes, I don't do waterproof mascara. I'm loving this one from ColourPop. This one's like a true, true brown. Bottom lash mascara is just really finicky for me. Like if I don't use it, my eyes disappear, but if I use too much, it just looks really intense. So this works well. Back to the TV talk. Sorry, I got distracted. We've been watching New Girl. I absolutely love it. I legitimately think Nick and Jess, their love story, their chemistry better than any TV show ever. I don't usually watch TV shows and I'm like, come on, do it. We've also really been loving Abbott Elementary. Big Quinta Bronson fans just love her. It's so funny. And then also Reboot on Hulu. It's so good. It's about a sitcom that gets rebooted on Hulu, but it's also like you watch the show on Hulu. So there's a lot of like funny meta humor there. And I just really 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 like it let's add a little more blush dior rosy glow this trick on tiktok said that having like a more cool toned pinky blush that like blends from your under eye into the rest of your blush as like a transition shade i don't know i've been liking it cue in a little bit for lips I'm realizing there's a lot of Tower 28 in this video. That's because I'm obsessed with their SOS spray. I've talked about it here. They noticed me and they were like, hey, we love that you like this. We're gonna send you some more stuff. And so they sent me like a couple lip glosses, fell in love with lip glosses. And then they were like, you're gonna love these. They're lip liners. And I do, they're so good. This one is in work of art. It's more of a nude and then fill me in is more of a pink. They're really creamy. I don't like a harshly lined lip, especially for like a nude shade. So I tend to just like buff it out a little bit with my fingers. And then I've got a Bare Minerals lipstick in Nudist just in the center. Tower 28 lip jellies are the best thing you will put on your mouth. Don't read too much into that statement. They are so good. They're so good. They're like nothing I've ever felt before. They feel like a lip oil, but they're like hydrating and so glossy and so pretty. And I just love them because the lips are pretty nude. I want to do color. Fearless. Look at me in my Taylor era. It's like a nice little fall lip color. Oh. I can't explain to you. They're like so slick and so shiny. I just love them so much. I don't know how I lived so long without this trick and it's how to get mascara off of your eyelid. You wait for it to fully dry, you take a spoolie. I just use the back of a eyebrow pencil, gently roll it and it just like flicks it off. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of the eyeshadow off and I'll just apply a little bit more. I don't know if they make this anymore. This is the packaging of mine because it fell out of the compact. It's from It Cosmetics. I forget what it's called. I will link it down below or write it out here, but it's such a good powder that actually has coverage. So I will use it on some acne spots that I wanted to give a little bit more coverage to. I should get it in a lighter shade because it's a little dark for me. I think I just made that too dark. But I love the formula of that powder. It's a much heavier powder than the Kosas one. It has coverage to it that actually sticks, especially if you have textured acne that you've put concealer on, which I like to do, especially if I'm like feeling really self-conscious about how my skin is looking. I can still see the acne mark, but the rest of the face looks really nice. That is my makeup. I've really been liking how it's been turning out. Feels really good on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy or weighed down. Doesn't clog my pores. Just for fun, because why not? Let's throw a little bit of highlighter. This is Becca Moonstone. Pretty, how cute. I think that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you like this style of favorites videos, a little bit more casual and talk through, let me know. I will continue to do them. I had a, I had a good time, like a nice rainy day spent with you all. And thank you again, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. I will see you next time.